Hello friends and welcome to August Coffee Chat. If you're new around here, the coffee chats are a chance for us to chit chat, have like a really casual conversation about things that have been happening lately, um, a little bit of advice, a little bit of things that I've seen, a little bit of just, you know, answering questions. I always ask what y'all want to hear about. And so that's what we're doing here. In this particular video, we're talking about kind of how I'm feeling about back to school, readying for that back to school sale and um, a new Teachers Pay Teachers feature I'm really excited about. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So I'm going to grab a cup of coffee. You can grab a cup of coffee. Maybe you want some ice coffee coffee it is like over a hundred here so I would not blame you one bit it is hot 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 and our upstairs air conditioning is not working so I called the I we called the air people yesterday and then I called back again today and she was like you're on the list and I was like what does that mean um no idea so that's where we are here on this Friday afternoon and yeah let's let's get to it. my grandmother-in-law if that's a thing um gave me this mug the other day which was super super nice of her um just out of the blue she saw it and she was like i just thought you would like it we um are both very into similar things <laughs> funnily enough um so let's use this one before we get actually started can we just talk about something that has nothing to do with anything other than i got it yesterday or two days ago um so y'all know that i'm really into my lounge flies um usually i get the backpacks but this is a crossbody you can see it's got like a long strap um purse and look it looks like books but they're all of the like disney princesses and they're like the original ones and which makes me even happier even though I love Tangled, I love Moana, but you know, I got a special place in my heart for Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid. And then like, look on the side, it looks like the spines of the book. Oh, it's so cool. I got it off Amazon and I will link it down below in case you desperately needed a Disney bag. We're not going anytime soon, but for the next time, I'll be prepared. All right, cheers to a new month. Um, we are getting into August, so the year is trucking on by first of all i wanted to give you a little update because i always make a really big deal about my mid-year planning even more so than my like beginning of the year planning like july is when i am like let's get all the things done and planned and figured out and i just want to give you a little hint um i had like it was six or seven specific things that I want to get done, like projects or goals, whatever you want to call them, before the end of the school year. And one of them I like made sure I got done in July. And it just felt so good to like check that off of the list and be like, man, like I am already like trucking along, got something checked off. Um, it was my back to school boot camp course, which was like a huge thing. I spent like a couple of weeks really, really working on it, but I was able to you know get it done and get it checked off and it went very well and so I'm, I'm feeling really good about that so just you know the next time you're planning something maybe have something that you can do like in the next couple of days because it was really nice to just have one thing checked off my list that I can work on other things um but yeah especially like this week because this week was the first week of pre-planning so we had three days this week and then next week we have two days of pre-planning and then the kids start on wednesday um yes my school starts very early we also get out very early and so it just you know is a thing um but we so i'm filming this on friday like right when i got home from my first few days of planning um which takes me to the first thing i wanted to talk about because i always ask y'all what do you want to hear and so teaching pack asked how are you feeling about back to school this year is feeling harder than most um i am feeling kind of strange about back to school i really really was not looking forward to the structure of being busy all day every day and having like my whole life planned out and that kind of stuff and I'm really still not looking forward to it and you know, not super excited about all of that um after you know having all summer where I could just do whatever I wanted whenever I wanted and so that's actually really feeling like a big struggle um I don't know why this like I don't usually have any issues with like adjusting my sleep routine adjusting any of my routines I'm usually like ready to, even if i'm not excited about the school year i'm like ready to go and get kind of thrown in there and you know all of that but like this week i've had the hardest time waking up in the morning 
having a hard time like figuring out what I'm gonna do and so I'm really working on like smoothing out my weeks on my end of like what do I want to do in the morning what do I need to get done what do I need to accomplish how do I need to structure my day so that I'm actually able to do the things that I want to do and the things that I need to do and all of that kind of stuff and just like so I'm really really working on that and trying to just dissect everything and figure out what's gonna work for me this year but I'm really excited to see the kids um, which is really funny because one usually that doesn't hit me till open house is when I get excited to see the kids and it too like I just I don't know I don't know I just I feel like I've never been this excited to see the children um and maybe it's just because like last year was actually a pretty good year for me teaching wise um the actual teaching part of it other things were frustrating but the teaching part was really great and so I'm kind of looking forward to that again and having a little bit more normalcy from the get-go versus last year we had you know lots of we were wearing masks we were you know um having lots of kids like quarantined and that kind of stuff so that's kind of how i'm feeling i'm still not super excited about other things like you know having my whole day planned out i'm really not excited about the schedule that i was given mm, mm, i am not happy about a couple things but we're I'm gonna try i'm trying this year to be flexible and to be chill and just all of those things so that because you know i was like how can i make this year better even if things frustrate me and i was like i can control my attitude so that's what we're working on i'm controlling my you know schedule as much as possible i'm controlling my attitude and like that kind of stuff it's kind of where i'm at i am very excited though for sales to get back to normal which is kind of a nice thing about being a gpt seller is that even on years that you don't want to go back and you're not happy about going back to school um getting back to normal sales sounds really good to me because i don't know about y'all but june and july they're rough they are very rough um and very very low and that's really frustrating and now like my low is gonna feel different than your low because we're all in different places um so it's all kind of you know proportionate to what you're used to making but like i'm used to being able to pay myself more than the district pays me every month and so having months where i can't do that is really irritating and i know that they're coming and i like plan for that but it's still you know i'm i'm excited i'm starting to have a couple of days that are more normal and so i have really big plans for the rest of the year and really hoping that we can accomplish those since it is the back to school season let's talk about a couple of things that are going to help you especially in the whole back to school season the whole i mean just in general in your tpt shop but especially um right now because the sale is gonna if you're watching this in real time the sale starts like tomorrow or the next day very soon so let's talk sale stuff back to school stuff actually i love about these videos is they're so like in the moment like literally yesterday i filmed a video that's not going to go out until january because i've been really on top of things so it's nice to be like let's talk about things that are happening now um so by the way if you see me in like tank tops in january and february that is why because i'm filming them in july um but whenever a sale is announced um there's a couple things i always look at to just make sure that my store is ready number one is going to be your featured products up at the top of your store there's four products that you can make featured these i like to make sure that they are always timely so i really especially like back to school make sure that they're all back to school resources they're things that are appropriate for right now and at least one or two of them i would like to be bundles that way i'm you know promoting those things that are going to be a little bit more money and again things that are going to be really good for right now so that's the first thing i check the second thing i check is bundles themselves and make sure that all of my bundles are up to date because the worst thing is when you sell a bundle that maybe you forgot that you had from like four years ago and then you're like oh i could have had so many more resources in that product and i like completely forgot i had it so i want to go through my bundles i don't know if i'm gonna have time now we shall see i would like to go through my bundles and like just make sure that they're all um just set and ready to go especially for the back to school sale because this is when people are willing to spend money for the whole year when it's may no one wants to spend money for like a whole year's worth of stuff because you only have a couple more weeks um but when it's august some people are still on summer break those lucky people i mean i got out early so it's, it's all the same it's all the same um some people are still on summer break and so those people are you know you have so much more potential to use the products this year so that's really helpful 
in terms of bundles. So bundles are always something that I look at to just make sure everything is up to date, smooth, and all that kind of stuff. Um, next up, let's talk previews. Previews are super, super, super important. And the longer I'm on Teachers Pay Teachers, the more important I think previews are. I actually am trying out like a new style of preview. So I'm seeing how I like it. I did it on my last resource. I was inspired by the TPT conference and I was like, we're, we're gonna fix, we're gonna make the previews amazing. So on my most recent resource, I really like worked on making the previews really, really solid. But previews are really, really helpful in getting sales. And so you really wanna make sure that the preview, that you have previews, first of all, and that they're really informative. Um, I have a whole video about different ways that you can do previews, so I will link that down below. But I will also tell you that I am leaning towards, instead of like sometimes in the past, especially I have just like taken a few of the pages out of my resource and slapped my like watermark over top of it. Um, I'm leaning more towards having photos or screenshots of the product and then having words like explaining it. I really want the preview to be like, when you finish looking through the preview, you understand the resource really, really well. That's kind of my goal. Um, and with that, I'm looking at the 16 by nine. So the presentation style, making it widescreen so that it's easy to read on a computer and just all of those things like really looking at. So I'm starting, I'm moving towards that. That is my goal. And then video previews are also really helpful if you can do that. Um, you may not have time to, you know, video pre. Obviously you're not gonna have time to do all of the previews and videos previews on all your products, but I'll give you a little hint. Um, start with your top sellers. So like I was looking at mine and I was like, I need to update my products. And that was super overwhelming because I have over 600 now. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna update the first page of products and those are the ones that we're gonna go through and i'm gonna look i don't know who we is it's just me um tolly i guess but i'm gonna go through all of like my first not before the sale because i don't have time for that but in the next few months i'm gonna look through all those and update the thumbnails and update the previews and that's like an easy way to kind of take like a bite-sized chunk out of your store if you have a lot of products and you want to go like update things and make sure that they're up to stuff so that's a little little hack for you because those are the ones that show up on the first page so people are most likely to click on them and they're already selling so if you do even better then they'll sell even better right yeah. um next up is whenever a sale is announced the first thing i do is promote my email list so i just like the other day made a reel about one of my freebies in my email list and made sure that i made that reel and i like you know, sent it to my stories and did all those things because I'm really trying to promote my email list. I'm talking about my email list and stories. I'm talking about all the things you can get, like all of that kind of stuff so that I'm really promoting, um, also promoting pieces of content that talk about my email list, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of more roundabout, but just really looking at my email list and making sure that I am doing things on there so that I'm getting as many people as possible onto my email list before the sale comes, because y'all know I am all about the sale emails and because that's where the money is, frankly, for me at least. And so I am really wanting to make sure that that gets into the hands of, or the inboxes of as many people as possible. So that is something that's very important to me. I have a video, I have a couple of sale videos, by the way, but I have one where I talk about like all my marketing stuff. So like, this is what I talk about in my emails. This is what I talk about on Instagram, like exactly how many I do and all that kind of stuff. So I'll link that below if you want to steal those things. But just promoting that email list is going to help get as many people as possible. Even if it's just, you know, one or two more people that you can get on there, that's one or two people who can go and purchase things from your store during the sale. Um, you might notice that I say things like, promote your email list or send an email or talk to people on stories or stuff like that. And I, I often mention talking to people and the reason is because in your business, you can get pretty far with just doing like TPT products and just working on search and just working on product listings. And that's the beauty of TPT is there are, you can get pretty far just doing that. However, at some point you may find that you're not moving as fast as you want to, or maybe you just want to take your business to the next level. And the reality of it is that the way that you do that is by building an audience. Having an audience means that you have a group of people either on social media or on um, like following you on your long form content, like a podcast or a YouTube channel or a blog, or you have um, people on email. That was the third. I was like, I'm missing something. Or you have people on email that you can talk to. The whole point of this is that you can talk to people so that you can promote your resources. You can 
help them and give them solutions you can actually talk to them and figure out what they need and what they like like that's um my most recent course that i just launched has frankly done really well i'm so blown away and so excited about it but the main reason it did really well is not because i you know spent a lot of time on it it's because I listened to my audience and I listened to all the questions that they had and I you know made sure that I was answering those questions with my course it was something I knew they were gonna like because I, I talked to them I you know I answer questions I ask them what they need and I know what they need at this point because I just I talked to them so much and so talking to them I know what I need to create and then also once i have created it then i was able to promote it to my social media and to my email list so that people can actually purchase it if you don't have people to purchase things then they just kind of sit there and trust me been there done that yeah this is not my first rodeo this is not my first course it's not my first product um and i you know i've had i had a lot of products that i made and they just sat on tbt and they didn't do anything for quite a long time but eventually they do end up selling however if you have an audience you can actually like send it to them and you can have help like you can promote it to them and you have just so much more control over your business and so many more options and things that you can do if you have an actual audience of people you can talk to people you can sell to people you can inspire people you can you know all of those things so having an audience is really important i went into like a whole a whole spiel in my most recent vlog so you can go check that out if you're looking for more um but that was kind of what this was based off so i was like let's dial it dial back the pentecostal in me and just have more of like a chit chat about like why this is important i'll have a whole video coming out about why like why it's important how to build an audience where to do that all that kind of stuff but it's not gonna be for a few months because your girl is finally ahead of videos for the first time like ever ever very excited I'm not gonna lie um which brings me to another question that i got which was from my good friend zoe and zoe asked how do you handle having multiple leads in your email list so when you have an email list you are typically going to have some different freebies that you give people in exchange for their email list so you give me your email i will send you um you get tpt planning sheets if you sign up for my email list but um so different freebies like that typically how i do them is i have a landing page for the freebie so for example i'm currently promoting my centers freebie and so i have a landing page for my centers freebie when people sign up for that they get tagged into the centers tag so that i know they're interested in seg into centers and then after that they get the freebie they also get my other emails I'm assuming you're asking how I deal with having like multiple freebies. So I originally, this is why I built my free resource library was so that I could have multiple freebies in an easy way. I just had one landing page and everything was in there. However, then I wasn't able to segment people. Um, I would get into issues with people having a hard time getting into the free resource library. I'm constantly getting questions like, what's the password? Well, how do I reset my password? I'm like, you don't reset your password. I'm not that fancy. We all have the same password. I send it to you in literally every email. Do you know how many emails I've sent like that? Mm, it's ridiculous. Anyway, that's how I handled it at first. Now what I do is I have been trying to do less lead magnets because it's really overwhelming to have a lot of small things and instead of having lots of small things i am doing bigger more important freebies that are typically linked to something so for example i'm talking a lot about centers i'm planning on making a centers course i'll go ahead and tell you so i currently have a freebie about centers so that i'm getting people interested in centers i'm talking about centers in my videos i can then get their email so that then i can send them more information about centers and then when my course is ready for centers which is not gonna be for a few more months um it's down the line but i'm, I'm see look look at me being on top of things videos prepped got a freebie for a product that i'm you know not making for a while but i um anyway words 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 I am, you know, able to talk to them about the course when it comes out because it's, you know, something that they're interested in. And so I'm looking more at that. Like, what are things that can go into lots of videos or lots of blog posts that 
people are gonna want that is gonna be really helpful so that's kind of my criteria now for a new lead magnet if i'm gonna make a new lead magnet i want it to be good so that people want to get it um so how i handle that is that typically i will send the freebie to my email list so that way if somebody already is on my email list then they can get that freebie without having to re-sign up um and then i typically also put it in the free resource library i haven't put this one in so i do need to go do that um but that way they can access them later in case they you know lost it forgot about it whatever on my becca's bible class the way that i handle that is i have again separate lead magnets separate landing pages for each thing when you sign up and same thing for the other one you immediately get whatever you signed up for and then i put everything else just into a google drive folder and so in the bottom of my emails i always have a link to that google drive folder so that people can go there and they can go you know check out whatever it is that they needed um the downside to that is that if someone unsubscribes then they'll still have access to the folder but i decided that that was a risk i was willing to take on this one at least for now maybe when it gets bigger i'll be more fussy about it but for now i'm kind of like eh, it's fine and the last thing i wanted to talk about today is a new feature that tpt just launched which is called testimonials i haven't played around with it too much so i don't know too many details about it but basically it's a way that you can highlight some of your good reviews there are a few criteria so it's got to be like in between a certain character count and another certain character count i don't know the numbers off the top of my head but it you know will tell you when you get in there and they have to, i think they have to be five stars which i mean why would we want to promote a testimony that's not five stars i don't know but i am super excited about this feature because then you can showcase some of the really good reviews that people have had and you know show people like why this is important and why people like it and all of that kind of stuff so i'm like really pumped about this i need to go and play with it this weekend so that i can you know try it out and see what all the all the details are but definitely go and play around with that yourself once you have some reviews and if you're like but becca i don't have any reviews um it's okay not very many people leave reviews you know a small fraction of people out of all the people who see your product a small fraction actually buy it and a very small fraction ever leave reviews um so don't stress they will come they will be slow don't worry about them but if you have some good reviews then you can highlight them with the testimonial feature so that is a really fun thing that i am excited about it's kind of an odd definition of fun isn't it oh well um anyway thanks for coming and hanging out with me i appreciate y'all so much especially those of you not that i don't love my other youtube channels but i especially love those of you here on this youtube channel because it's so like personal i feel like we're like hanging out behind the scenes i know that you can't actually hear me but still i really enjoy it and i really enjoy just being able to like come here and chit chat with you every month and yeah so you've got a few more i have a few more summer vlogs that are obviously already filmed but i just need to post and then we'll have some more videos about like kind of organization time management designing your week that kind of stuff because we're going into that that time of year with school starting and needing all the help that we can get so thanks so much for watching coffee cheers to you and i'll see you next time bye